and I just opened the shop. It's about three o'clock on uh, July the tenth. Went down and got this stuff the other day. Now we're gonna. Tell me what you're doing, Mike. We're we're not waiting anymore. I'm cutting this. I'm gonna cut this little uh, out at uh, this angle out of here. I don't know. Like so I can put this across here like this and, and try to get that in there and in that hole. That's not going to be easy because i got to bend these things a little bit to fit in there. So I don't know. It's going to take a little bit of adjustment, but i got to have that angle out of there. And we're going to reinforce it. I don't know how this is going to cut. Mm. That looks like a... You sure you need to... Cut that big brace out. You of want it? it in this hole? In this hole? Not necessarily. We could put it along, weld it alongside of this, and put a brace right here. Is what I was gonna, thinking. How are you going to weld it? I don't know. They, they say they got to move the bus over there. Well, we'll get someone out here then. Get that guy. If we have to. The guy that welded the piece on there that we didn't need welded. hundred bucks on that. It didn't need to. Yeah, just like that. And then we'll build a brace right here. I want to get that in there. You know what I mean? Build a brace right there. It won't be as strong as if you got this over the top of that. Well, I just don't like the angle of it. Well, it's it's this much. It's quite a bit. I think you're... Uh, I think you're cutting... Worried about nothing. I think you're cutting this... Um, this is a lot of security there. And if we just built something, all it is is keeping it from... No. What do you mean, no? Here, my worry is that that the spring's there. This was here before. You want it straight. You don't want it pushing off to the side. You want it into it. I understand, but I don't think that much is going to push off to the side too much. Well, then why is your worry? Do what you're going to do. You're going to... No, I don't want to, you know, but I don't want to go against you, Steve. So I, I think, I don't know how to build the brace there. I really don't. We'll just have one. Give me a pencil. Give me that chalk. That's what I was looking for. Give me some scissors or a razor. Here, why don't you do this on this? Chalk. I'm not going to draw nothing. I'm going to make something. Anyway, we're going to do this. I'll check in later. Jason? What'd it do, break? No. It's moved so far we had to we had to add metal. Oh. Oh, it cracked it or something? Well, it go so far with metal, it's going to stretch, so you got to add metal. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we sliced it and bent it and then added metal to it. Heated it up and put it on that machine, did you? Yep. day. I don't know exactly how long, but this is what they've been messing with. They took the other rivets out over there, which I don't understand. We'll see. I don't know what they're talking about. But then they lengthened this one and welded this where they bent it. Puts a, a weld on it. Still cracked in the middle. I don't know. I just don't know what they're doing. And I don't know if I like it. Mike and I had it in there. I don't know if he just... Anyway. We had the pin and he put so much of an angle on here. We're going to reinforce it by putting channel iron in through here. I'm bending it in there and then welding it in. And same thing on the other side. 
and maybe even throw a plate on top or on the bottom, whichever, probably on the bottom so it clears the drive line. And then get it up in here to where we can adjust this perfectly to where it fits and we get our bolts in there. Tighten these bolts down as tight as we can get them and then. How about this, all this, this stuff piece in. that's bent right here? Are you going to secure, I mean, strengthen that at all or is that okay? That, I don't know. Well, you, you got that reinforced pretty good, damn good right there. Anytime you got three bolts, two bolts in here, you got a lot of stress right there. Tightened up right, right there on both sides. That, them two bolts right there hold millions of tons. That's the old man that was experienced. Tell that part. Strength of material is what he's talking about. Yeah. It would be, I mean, it's unreal to talk. Well, we had to do all this because <laughs> we've moved over the transmission. Transmission. Well, cradle mount. Yeah. Uh, what, six or four inches? So the uh, 64 inches. Allison V7 <laughs> <laughs> automatic transfer. Six inches, I believe, Fit Jason. I think it's six inches you moved it over. Yeah. All right, that's M July 13th. They just heated this bar brace up so it would fit. So this is very hot right now. Anyway, they hit, heated it up so it would fit in place better. No stress. So anyway, they just did that. So that's what they've done today. Not much. Got the brace in there. See if that's strong enough. That right there. Looks like you got the bent the pieces in there and look just like you bolted them in. And that's that's good. At least this part's done. I'm just move on. What'd you do today? Well, How long did it take you? Get resupported. We went ahead and put these extra supports in here and these two bolts just to make it stronger. And I got everything placed in here and put the damn put the big bolts back here in this uh, holster. And then I put the one in this holster. Got everything to where pretty much even. And I tighten the heck out of it. As tight as I can get it. And uh these two bolts here and these two bolts here are grade 10. So this should last for a long, long time. As long as this piece And the works. idea that uh, behind this whole thing is that it moves a little bit. Yes. So those are hinge pins it in the back. It walks like this very little. Yeah, in the back. Yeah. Very little, I'd yeah. say. So we bent, we bent these, the pins that go into the brace, to hook it in there. Right? Yeah, I don't know what you'd call them, so, so. Yeah, just pins. Uh, pin connector pins. Yeah, connected. Yeah, something. Go. Anyway, okay. I'm running out of memory on this thing. <laughs> I think that looks better in there than well, that. All little stuff I got to do real quick to so take this part and turn on another thing. I think it. I think that fits in there good. I think it fits great. I'm gonna make sure. You're gonna lift up the uh, drive line? Yeah. Do you need the flange? No. You're being filmed. Don't crack a rib. Don't crack a rib. Is that part? I'll even film it. Plenty of fucking room. Oh, I, well, could, I knew there would be. I could eight, see eight that. Inches, isn't there? Shit. From the drive line to that cross piece that I put on this morning is a good six inches. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's what I figured. That's what I told Leon. Six inches. Everything's very clear. Alright. Put this piece on there. Yep. That little piece. I'm gonna put two bolts here, one here and one here. Three eight bolts. Turtle stronger. Yeah. You ruined my
my paint job, I want you to know. Yeah, I know. You knew you were going to have to touch it up a little bit anyway. Oh, I know. <laughs> Same with that transmission and everything. It's 8 o'clock, July 18th, 2014. Uh, this is what Jason did today. Uh, let's see, he grinded. That motor mount. And he grinded some of these welds up, off. He cut this little piece right here. Drilled two holes. And he cut that and angled it a little bit. And it is going to go uh, up here like this. Anyway, that's what it's for. Ah, and he'll do that tomorrow. So that's what he did. Cut this little piece. Grinded that a little bit. And put two bolt holes in that. And then cut that piece and angled it a little bit. That's it. Jason heated up this pipe, or this brace. So he just heated it there so it would sit flat against that and bent that a little bit. So he did that since he's been here. This is the uh, 21st of July. Now they're working on that pickup over there. And been doing that a while. So it started. Started out. <laughs> Go ahead. So we uh, had to re brace all this up. In fact, over here, yeah, it was over here. We moved it over here, it's six inches or whatever it was. I think it was six inches. Now we're taking this piece of metal here, bolting it in. We're going to weld it in right here. And we still got access to get to our, uh, our bell housing uh, motor mount. And then on this side over here, we take this piece of tail iron and put it in here. What'd you do? You bent it? We bent it to our line up these bolt holes, these bolt holes. And I drilled bolt holes down here. And I'm going to take and put a piece of metal in here and fill this back in and weld it back up. So it's getting stronger. What are you doing right now? What would, what would I stop you from doing? Uh, right now we're putting one more bolt right here to go through this frame right here. Uh, well, that's the fourth <laughs> floor over here. We had to cut out so the, the chain that we're going to be putting in that cradle there will fit. Um, and after cutting it out, we had to put pieces of angle iron up there, all the way up to here, all the way back to here, cut slices in the side so we can weld, 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 weld all the way across there. And it should be strong. And you, and you uh, put it, and, yeah, sleeved it kind of. I beat it to where it came clear down here to the end. Under this brace. That way it would be good and strong. Wrap over it. Yep. Yeah, I think that's good. And you're going to put a piece right here. Yeah, I'm going to. Uh, we're going to cap it kind of like Cap that. it like that. Okay, cool. I came from the mud. There's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree. There's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from the law. Catch me howling at the moon